Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria where Britain is currently requesting us to help them fight France. And this is very interesting because if we're able to demand our own territory for this, that would be amazing. We would really like to take Granada, maybe even Panama up here. And we'd also like to just kick France out of this continent entirely. That would be amazing. I'm wondering how strong France is. 10362. So we're stronger than France. We're not scared of France. Beautiful. We should also promote European migration, which we're going to do. Welcome to Brazil. Fantastic. Portuguese people are migrating to Lima. Okay, so I'm going to accept this. And the idea here is, hopefully, Let's see. Can we demand anything? Return French Panama. To whom? And humiliate France. Okay. So I would like to do some state conquest. French Guiana. Yes. New Granada is not currently involved. Okay. So we're going to toss in conquer French Guiana. And we'll see if New Granada shows up. So for now, I'm going to mobilize these guys. They were only just demobilized. And we're going to send them on over to this apparently tiny little front here. Ah, impassable terrain. Okay. Yeah, that seems fine. So we're going to send them right on over. That's no problem. Bavaria has sided with France. But New Granada is not currently involved. If New Granada gets involved, then we are interested in doing this. Now, France was the initiator. The Ottoman Empire has sided with France. Okay. Are we scared of the Ottomans? That's a lot of stuff moving. Are we scared of the Ottomans? No. Not really. Okay. Sounds good. We're going to keep most of these armies in reserve for right now because this is going to get real expensive if we mobilize them. So the question is, is New Granada going to hop in? We've already added a war goal, so apparently we can't add more. But I guess we get French Guiana out of it, at least. So that's something. I would also like to transfer New Granada to us. That would be ideal. But we'll see how that ends up going. So Bolivia, we need to continue to have this drop down. Currently, they would not accept this. They have 15 reasons not to. We're going to let that continue to drop over time. So we see a lot of forces piling in over here. But there's also British forces coming to this front. So I'm not sure if we need to bring more of our own over yet. We'll keep an eye on how this is looking. More forces are on their way. I think I'm going to mobilize this army and we're going to send them up to this front as well. Okay. So we're going to do something kind of like this for right now. We're very interested in getting French Guiana, of course. And we've already added a war goal, so we can't apparently add any more. I'm wondering... Let's see here. So we see the Ottoman Empire, we see Bavaria, and we see Bahrain on the French side. And of course, on the English side, everybody. <laughs> Pretty much everybody. Venezuela is leaning towards England at this moment. My question is, why isn't New Granada involved in this? They're a protectorate. Okay. Noted. Right, so they can do their own diplomatic plays. And they're currently neutral. What does their flag look like? Okay. So, if we look through here... They're just not even interested in this war at all. So, New Granada cannot join this war. Apparently, they have no interest in it. So that's noted. This is currently at a zero strength. So what I want to do is I want to tell these guys to defend the front. Britain is probably going to attack the front, but I want to just put us on defense. For now. Minus two at this moment, but we see more British forces on their way in. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to do something like that. Now, there's no additional war goals that we can add. 
And, I mean, we would end up getting France here. We have nothing for the Ottoman Empire. Transferring Bahrain. Okay, Slovak people are migrating from Austria to Corrientes. Sounds good. The question is, do we want to pause construction while we're doing this? The answer is no, we don't, obviously. <laughs> Why would we want to do that? Market access in Ecuador and Buenos Aires. Okay, so let's check in here. The railway in Ecuador really should probably be subsidized. So that's noted. And then in Buenos Aires. Okay. So this we probably do need an expansion of. We'll get that going. Sounds good. So we're at minus four here right now. That's understood. I'm not too concerned about it, though. We can always just send in a, an additional reserve force if we have to. I would do it, but I don't want to early, early demobilize, which I feel like is probably going to end up happening. So we are going to need to get rid of these French trade routes. This is not surprising. There we go. And there's a vulnerable front in Western New Guinea. I don't think I care about that, to be honest. Okay, so we're going to try to push through here. We can see that Britain is attacking. We just unlocked a bolt-action rifle. So that's, you know, quasi-useful. Britain is attacking here, and Britain is winning this attack. Britain is defending here and is winning that as well. So both of these are going nicely. We just upped our health system investment. That's good. And I do want to hop our arms industries over, because turns out we're probably going to need weapons around now. An electricity shortage in Ecuador is noted. Bolt-action rifles are definitely something that I want to switch over to for right now. Millet farms, huh? We don't actually have any millet farms, so I guess that's fine. We can go down to training method streamlining for our barracks, which we should do, and the same for our conscription center. That'll be okay. And that all looks good. Now I want to check our mobilization here. Mm, I guess we can't change that at this point, only when it's demobilized. Noted. So let's check these. Actually, it's in this tab, isn't it? It is. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So we're 96% mobilized here. The rest of these are good to go. So no real issues there. Yeah, this looks fine. So we are running a bit of a high price right now on silk. Okay. Lead is a little bit up there. I think that we should probably do something about silk here. We were probably importing from France at some point. And minus 719, huh? Okay, so our synthetics plants would produce 40 per level. This is going to be a big problem for our dye price, obviously. And I'm wondering what our current setup is here. Yeah, it's not great. So for the moment, I'm just not going to build anything there. Okay, so we are winning this attack, which is really, really nice. And we are also winning this defense, or I should say Britain is. That's okay. Vulnerable fronts in a number of locations. We're going to let Britain handle those. We're not concerned about it. The only thing we're interested in doing right now is taking this territory from France. And it looks like we're going to be able to fairly easily. France is putting a lot of their forces into this. 340? That is like half of their army that they put right here. Okay. And I mean, they're still losing, so it looks good. Specifically, the Ottomans have some forces here. Okay. Yeah. How much of all of these do we have? Yeah, the Ottomans have a fair amount of forces here. So this isn't really half of the French army. Noted. I'm going to move these guys at this point. Our co-belligerent is in default. Okay. I'm going to move these guys over to advance front. And I'm interested in going on the attack here at this point. Now that Britain has paved the way. Yeah, we're at minus seven advantage. But I'm not too concerned about that. So France is winning this attack here. That's noted. And the Ottomans are winning this defense at this moment. Okay. That's fine for now. We're just going to continue to fight over here for the moment. No major issue there. Do we have any... Right, we have an electricity input shortage in Ecuador. 
We don't have any power plants set up in Ecuador right now, so let's take a look at this. This is... Uh, let's go to the price here. Minus 77. Okay. So we definitely want to produce more electricity there. We really only need the one in Ecuador. So that would be right here. Cool. Let's get that going. We'll keep an eye on how this battle down here is progressing. And Kutai is in default. I'm actually going to mobilize these guys. And we're going to send them on up to the front. We can see that the situation is turning in our favor. And that's good. We definitely want that to be the case. Britain is still losing this attack. And we were winning this defense. But that flipped. I think. Okay. Well, we've got more forces headed up to the front here. We can still scale up our participation in this significantly. So that seems good. We're now at plus 11 in our advantage. And we could bring more forces in if we need to. We're winning this attack, and we're still losing this defense, but that's fine. France is currently occupying some of this territory up over here. That's awkward. They actually got a lot from that, but I'm sure we'll get that back. So we're winning this attack against France. Wonderful. There we go. We successfully attacked there. And what's going on here? This is Britain attacking France successfully. Looks good. I'd like to see us take back this territory out over here, but for the moment, this is fine. I'm reasonably content with what we've got going on there. So I do want to check in on our power plant construction situation. It looks like that's going to be going on for a decent amount of time yet. That's not too bad. Yeah, this seems reasonably fine. We don't have major issues at this moment other than the price of silk, which I expect to be manageable, but it's mostly the price of dyes that's causing us an issue here. That's liquor there. This is dyes. So I would like to do an export route to the Scandinavian market, I guess. And also to the New Grenadine market. I just want to export dyes as much as possible because that will, raising the price of dyes will improve the viability of our silk production. Okay, over here, Britain is winning this fight and over here, Britain is winning this fight as well. Wonderful. What is the current strength of Britain? Okay, that's pretty strong. Cool. So that seems fine. And the real question here is, when are we going to get what we want here, right? We're definitely winning this war. There's no doubt about it. Oh, we've got this territory back now. Beautiful. So Britain is winning this defense. And Britain is winning... Or actually, yeah, Britain is winning this attack. Cool. Co-belligerent is in default. Whatever. It's fine. We are running a big deficit, but, I mean, that's expected in wartime. So, seems good. I don't think there's any problem whatsoever here. So, we're going to end up getting a little bit of French French Guiana. That's wonderful. I do wish New Granada was part of this. That said, they may demand independence. This would be a good time for them to do that. France is in a world of hurt right now. So, yeah, this would definitely be a good time for them to do that. And I would support them in that. Absolutely. I would, I would defend them. Until I annex them a little bit later. But, you know, <laughs> that's just how it works. Fantastic. So, uh, yeah, we can fire this guy. Who was that? This leader. Okay, I, I don't care. Excellent. So... Britain is still winning this fight. That looks good. No real problem there. We're not seeing too much hurt to our population chart. So this war is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Tripolitania and Kutai are both in default. Cool. And this entire area just about is almost. It's almost all occupied. Beautiful. Beautiful. This is the only front we really care about. So we're going to start doing early demobilization, probably. And demobilize two out of the three of these. Yeah. 
I'd kind of like to do an early demobilization here. It does take time. But let's get them heading home. And I'm going to do that with this unit too. We're going to keep two of these units here. There we go. And Britain is winning this. This front should, in theory, be over with this battle, I think. I think this front will be over with this battle. Where are you going? They're apparently going to deploy out over to this front. And invade France. I mean, I guess? I don't really have another plan for them, so... I guess that's okay. Sure, why not? Why not invade France? Sounds good. So with that happening, the question then is, now what? Well, we do have the territory that we claimed. So French Guiana here. And Britain is going to be taking French Panama. So that's noted. War propaganda. Okay, that's not all that relevant, but whatever. I would really like to go after New Granada. Their liberty desire dropped a lot. By 10. Interesting. Well, France is getting wrecked right now. No doubt about that. I am wondering if immediately after this war, we would be able to declare on New Granada. We'd have to end our defensive pact, and I believe that would give us a truce. Which we should probably do right now. Let's get started on that. And we're probably going to need to damage relations with New Granada as well. There's a naval invasion in Rio de Janeiro. Okay. We should probably mobilize these guys again. And have them help out here. Because apparently France is trying to do a naval invasion of our territory. We also may want to send these guys over to this sea node. I'm not sure that we can actually fight France in that regard, but we can do this for now. I don't think France can actually do this, so... New Granada wants to enter into a trade agreement with us. I'm going to decline that for the time being. Why are we low on bureaucracy right now? Hmm, that's interesting. Minus 73.3. So I guess we should build a government administration somewhere. Do we need any taxation capacity? Actually, in Bajo Paraguay. Okay, so we can build one of these. That'll give us 100 bureaucracy. That'll bring us back positive. Yeah, do it. That looks good. So our army is invading France, and we have that already ready to go. Sounds great. I'm wondering what their progress is here. 0% landing progress. There's no battle ongoing down here right now. Okay. So France is going to go negative fairly soon. Yeah, they actually can be brought negative as well. So that sounds great. We're just going to continue to push through France over here. And they'll give up very soon. France is absolutely losing this war. Significantly losing it. Venezuela has a revolution. I don't think we're involved in that, though. So that is fine. I just want to get French Guinea here. That'll be wonderful. So unfortunately, we're not the ones who can determine whether we press these war goals or not. Hopefully Britain gives it to us. We can get another company here. And what do we want to get? Well, Brazilian fabrics might not actually be a bad thing. We've had an issue with clothing production. Do it. That looks good. So this trade route is now inactive, exporting dyes, and now it's not. Okay, that sounds good. This one is technically negative. This is a new Granada. Okay. We'll get rid of that. We are running a surplus at this moment, which is mildly shocking. We've also finished up all of those power plants. So that sounds great. Market access in Ica is currently low. We should do something about that. So let's take a look at Ica. This can be brought up. 16, huh? It's going to be close. I'm going to build a second one, but we're also going to subsidize this. Okay. That sounds good. So we're continuing to press through France here. Wonderful. And France is absolutely going to give up soon. They're at minus 13, and what are they at here? 
Yeah. France is really into a white piece idea. Unfortunately, we can't propose the piece, but it's fine. Yeah, that trade route is inactive again. It'll get there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Okay, so our fleet is currently chilling out over here. There's actually a battle ongoing, and we're winning this battle. So I don't think this landing is going to happen, France. Somehow I don't think this is going to go the way you want it to go. We're still going further negative in our bureaucracy. Noted. Well, more government administrations are not necessarily a bad thing. We can get a second one of those going. And in Ika? Yes. We'll get that going. Where is Ika? Uh, this is not... I want the state of Ika. Okay. Cool. So that is down over here. Noted. Excellent. So their naval invasion is going very poorly. No doubt about that. This, uh, this is a very bad naval invasion. They are currently losing this battle, and that, I think, will completely stop the naval invasion. Yeah. Fantastic. So that is excellent. We can... Okay, Bavaria just capitulated. They white-pieced out of this. Cool. That's going to start to happen. France is at minus 50. They will also stop soon. There's a naval invasion in Rio de Janeiro now. Okay, so they just went up to this sea. Mode. Okay, we'll head up there ourselves. No problem. They are sailing past us down to this sea node. Okay, they're just going to be jerks. Okay, they're just bouncing back and forth here. Wild. Well, let's head over here and uh, stop them. That'll be perfect. Peace deal has been proposed. Conquer French Guiana is a pressed war goal here. Beautiful. This is all we need, so we accept this peace deal. Does everyone? Everyone accepts it. Perfect. So we ended up getting Brazilian Guiana. That is wonderful. And at this point, our fleet should be heading home. Yeah, that, that should be absolutely fine. Where are you going? I'm not sure where exactly they're going. Let's station them in the Brazil HQ. Cool. So that'll be fine for now. We are back at peace, and this is now ours. So we're, of course, going to want to immediately begin working on integrating it. There we go. That looks good. I'm also going to reset the production methods over there. So there we go. Production methods have been aligned. Well, France is kicked out of South America now, with the possible exception of New Granada here. New Granada, I would be very interested in attacking them. There are no diplomatic demands available. And this is probably because we're truced with them currently, is my guess. Six months left on that. We'll keep an eye on that. I'm interested in taking over at least a chunk of New Granada. So that's noted. Bolivia's Liberty Desire is still dropping here. They have a 1% chance of acceptance of this diplomatic play now. That's definitely an improvement. So we're going to continue to drop their Liberty Desire for now, and let's let that come on up. Excellent. We have a pretty solid financial situation at this moment. I'm pleased with that. We're negative on the investment pool. So I think a tax cut is the way to go here. Let's bump it down. That actually put us a lot more negative than I expected it to. Okay, we shouldn't run a tax cut yet then. What we should do is we should get this interest paid off, let our economy grow, and then do the tax cut. Great Britain sided with Bhutan. Okay, sure. So, I would love to get New Granada. I'd love to get Venezuela as well. Britain is still guaranteeing them, unfortunately. I would love to attack Venezuela. Absolutely be delighted to do it. Britain is going to help them. 
So hopefully Britain will stop that soon enough. What about Netherlands? Is Netherlands still a protectorate of the U.S.? They are. Can we take the U.S.? Kinda? We kinda could take the U.S. So that's noted. What all does the Netherlands have? It's just this? Okay. I mean, they've got territory out over here, but I don't care. So we could definitely consider taking on the Netherlands, but it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to consider attacking the Netherlands pretty soon here. I think we're in a very good spot militarily to be able to... Yeah, it's time for a change in course. I think we're in a very good spot militarily to be able to take on the U.S. Theoretically. 5741, does that include their conscripts? They can. They have access to a lot of conscripts. I'm not convinced that it does. Uh, why is this closing? Pin it open. There we go. Yeah, this does not include their conscripts. So if they can script up, I think the U.S. would be quite powerful. But we'll think about that for a future episode. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Xenocyte, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, The Lounge SDL, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.